In this screencast, I'm going to show you how to solve the Peng Robinson cubic equation of state. Now, in order to solve the cubic, it's uh, more convenient to put it into this form here. So, this is a cubic polynomial where z is the indeterminate uh, variable, so the thing that we want to solve, and then there's various coefficients in the polynomial made up of a and b. So a is defined here, so it's the lowercase a, the Peng Robinson attraction parameter that we've seen in previous videos, pressure, gas constant temperature, b equals the lowercase b here, which is the Peng Robinson co volume, again we've seen this in the previous video, and then again pressure R and T, and Z is pressure times volume divided by gas constant times temperature. So we can put all this together, and this is equivalent to the Peng Robinson equation that we've seen previously. Now, the reason that we're putting it in terms of compressibility is that it's a lot more convenient to solve it this way. Um, so Compressibility factor Z uh, describes the deviation of a real gas from ideal gas behavior. And you can think of it as the ratio between the real gas uh, volume and the ideal gas volume. Um, and it's also very useful for modifying the ideal gas law to account for real gas behavior. So you write that as PV equals ZRT. Uh, now, for an ideal gas, Z equals 1. And for real gases, Z can be determined using an equation of state or a compressibility chart. So if you want to find out about compressibility charts, have a look online and you'll see examples of those. Now, in terms of using this equation, we've seen this type of plot here before where we can plot out the pressure volume behavior for Peng Robinson. And we can also plot the saturated vapor pressure at that particular uh, temperature so that's what we've done here at 284 Kelvin and this has three roots so the first root here has a physical meaning and so does the one over here on the right but the middle root has no uh, physical significance but we want to be able to solve the value of the uh, the volume here and here so we're going to do this by using this uh, equation in terms of Z and then translate that to a volume Okay, so for this particular example, we've got the gas constant, the critical temperature and pressure, and then the temperature and pressure that we're actually working at. So if you just go back to the plot, this is plotted out for 284 Kelvin, and this pressure here is actually 4.6 megapascals. So we're going to use all of that. A has been calculated for us here, uh, and so is B. We've got the eccentric factor and then kappa has been calculated and then we can get a of t to be able to work that out now uh, the cubic here we can write it out as a polynomial like this um, we need to know the value of a capital a and capital b so they've been calculated so this one is shown here so it's a times p divided by r squared and t squared and then we've got the b value here so if you just go back to the theory you can see that's those two equations being implemented okay so now we can work out the coefficient so m3 just equals 1 um, m2 equals minus brackets 1 minus b close brackets so that's been calculated uh, m1 Again, a bit more complicated this time, and M0. So they've all been calculated for us. So we've got a series of, of coefficients in our polynomial that we can use to solve. Now, there's various different ways of solving cubics, and the, way, the option that I've gone for is just a custom function that's been written in VBA code, and it's equals cubic. You highlight the coefficients, and then you can actually use this as an array function. So let me just show you how this works. I'm going to copy that. I'm going to delete all of this so I can just show you the implementation. Paste that in. So it's cubic equals all of that. I'm then going to highlight these cells. Press F2. 
and then control shift and enter and that has now given me the three routes in terms of Z it's also told me the number of routes because it could be that there's just one real route or there could be three real routes because it's a cubic I can then multiply this up to give me the volume um, of, of this so we've got Z times R times T divided by P and that gives me the volume I've also done this for the vapor phase so that is really helpful and if I plot these out on the graph now we can see we've got the bubble point and the dew point so these are the values that we've calculated uh, using this polynomial form of the Peng Robinson equation and so that is uh, an introduction and a demonstration of using this cubic equation solver um, and, and demonstrating how you can solve the roots for the Peng Robinson equation of state.